Hi there. The purpose of this video is to show you how to do a linear regression on a TI Inspire CX calculator. Uh, this is useful if you have a set of X and Y values, maybe just uh, values that you have as a chart uh, that you've collected in a lab, or maybe you uh, took them off of a graph and you're trying to do some sort of a linear regression to figure out what's going on. You need things like the slope or the y-intercept to be able to get the job done. So, in order to do this, uh, first thing I'm going to do is start a new document. I'm just going to get rid of what I was previously doing there. And the way that we want to go with this is to choose to add a list and spreadsheet. Because we want to set up a spreadsheet of these values. So I'm going to choose the fourth option. Now, a good idea here is to right off the bat go up to the very top. And in the A column, I'm going to define that as my X values. You could actually type in what that might represent if you want to get that far into it. I quite often just put it in as X and then jump in, oops, sorry, enter and scroll back over up to there at the very, very top Y and hitting enter. That way um, I really know for sure that, hey, these are my X and Y values. That's what I'm going to be using there. So in this column now, going back over just into the A column, into cell number one, I need to start putting in all of these values. So I just start typing them in. And this will just take me a moment to be able to get these all in for you. And there we go. I'm going to scroll back up to the top again, and I'm going to shift over to the B column, the one that I've defined as my Y values. Now the thing I do have to be careful about is all of these Y values do have scientific notation, and I do have to enter them in that way because it will affect my final answer. So I start typing in 6.56, and just like I would whenever I'm doing scientific notation, I use my EE button to get it times 10 to the power of 11, and I start going in and typing in all my numbers. Don't worry if it looks like it changes the numbers after you hit enter, it's just expanding it into standard form, and that's okay. The calculator is keeping all of the numbers exactly the way that you intend them to be used, and it's not going to do anything uh, screwy for you as far as changing the final answer that you get because of that. So it'll just take me a moment to get these all typed in. And the last one. Okay, I've got all of those in. Now, at this point, there are a whole bunch of different things you can do. I usually just get myself over into an empty cell because what I'm about to do is just insert some uh, statistical analysis now. Um, you can do graphing stuff, though, if you want to, all sorts of great stuff like that. But the quickest method for you at this point is just to choose the menu button. And up at the top here, it gives you some selections. The most important one for us, and I'll just zoom in on this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better now, is that one of those options does say statistics. So I'm going to select number four for statistics, and you can see it says, hey, I can do stat calculations for you. So I'm going to choose number one on that. And that brings up a menu for me that says, hey, there's a whole bunch of stuff we can do. The one that I'm most interested, though, is in number three, linear regression MX plus B. That's the way that I usually think of doing linear regressions, uh, you know, forgetting the uh, formula for a straight line. Usually I'm thinking Y equals MX plus B. So you could either, you know, click down to it or just hit the three button on your calculator. And it pops up with a menu that says you have to define what the X list is and all that sort of stuff. Um, most of the time it's not going to do great stuff for me here, so I actually have to click um, to choose that first X list, highlight X, and select it. I'm going to tab down, I'm going to choose uh, by clicking in the middle, scroll down to choose Y, and grab it. And at this point, as long as I have done everything the way I've been showing you, uh, I can just hit tab a few more times to jump over, select OK, hit enter and you can see it throws out a whole bunch of values at me. Now one thing you do have to be careful of is it does cut a few things off because of the size of the cells, so if you need to you might have to just scroll over, you know, depending on the values you're getting, just scroll down onto it by using the um, arrow pads and you can see that then it expands the number to show me that this is 41000121 757.375 and for the y-intercept uh, it is negative 4777, 
I think that's what it says, 89.0791. So I might have to go on top of those uh, to see them like that, but it's not really a big deal. You can also see that the number does appear there a little bit bigger for me as well. So you can read it wherever you need to, to be able to get those values. I hope that helps you out with doing a, a basic um, sort of linear regression. Uh, there are other things you can do to get to display a graph and insert a line of best fit uh, for you and show you things like that. But I think this is probably the quickest way to get those values just when you need them really, really fast. Thank you.